Hello everyone, I'm Brandon Grisco, a partner with the law firm Fossil & Bond, premier law firm in Western Wayne County. Entrepreneurs, small business owners, and real estate investors often overlook the role that local governments play in business. Here's three fast tips on local government for your business. Number one, understand how zoning laws apply. Before buying or leasing property for your business, you need to understand local land use regulations called zoning. Local zoning laws can restrict where a business can be located. The time to understand zoning is before you sign a lease or during a due diligence or inspection period before purchasing property. For example, zoning laws may indicate that your business type is only allowed in certain zoning districts. Even commercial or business districts are often broken down further so that higher intensity uses like car dealerships, for example, are separated from lower intensity uses like office buildings and residential neighborhoods. So even if you're in the correct district, there's also dimensional requirements for the property that may require a certain size of lot or a certain setback from the roadway or other adjacent structures. If you aren't in the correct zoning district, you could seek a use variance from the local zoning board of appeals, or you could seek to have the property rezoned to the correct district. However, these use approvals are not automatic and can sometimes become hotly contested. Number two, business licensing and inspections. Zoning regulates the use of land, but many communities also require a license to carry on certain business types. Even if your property is in the right zoning district, there may still be more steps to take. For example, folks may try breaking into real estate investing by flipping houses or maintaining rental properties. But did you know that some local communities regulate this activity? For my house flippers, there may be home sale inspection requirements that require inspections and then potential code fixes before the home can even be listed for sale. And for the landlords out there, other communities have rental inspection programs that require each rental property to be registered with the community and inspected periodically. There are plenty of other business types that also may require local licensing. These could be massage parlors, consignment shops, hotels, jewelers, tool and truck rental, and even food trucks, and more. License requirements for certain business types could include things like background checks, proof of financial responsibility or insurance coverage, and in some cases, even approval of the local police chief or fire chief. Again, it's best to be proactive in these situations. The time to find out if you need a license is before making any significant commitment in a particular community. Number three, signs. Many businesses are community facing, which means they rely on customers or clients choosing to enter the business and then utilize its services. Commercial signs are a great way to tell the public about your products, services, and overall brand. And after having listened to points number one and number two, it shouldn't surprise you to learn that the government also regulates your business's signage. Where can it be? What materials can it be made of? Can it have backlighting or any lighting at all? Depending on the size and style of the sign, the sign itself can cost hundreds or even thousands of dollars. Again, before making that investment, you'll wanna check your local sign code to ensure that the type and style of sign that you want to use is allowed in that district. Ultimately, you will most likely have to fill out an application for a sign permit. You'll have to describe the location, size, and potentially other features of the proposed sign. A uh, local official is either going to approve or disapprove the request based on that community's sign code. And if your sign doesn't meet the community's specifications, it's possible to appeal to the local zoning board or other public body for a sign variance. Remember, first things first, explore zoning, licensing, and signage issues before making any significant investment or financial commitment. Although local officials can be helpful pointing you in the right direction, there's no substitute for a skilled business and real estate attorney in your corner. If you need help navigating local government, business and real estate issues, give me a call here at Fossil & Bond at 248-380-0000. Once again, I'm Brandon Grisco, partner at Fossil & Bond. Thanks for watching.